What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a ceiling in Revit that contains some construction elements. So usually ceilings in Revit are just do, done as flat planes and that's, well, that's good enough for some projects but if you want to get that extra detail and you want to have actual construction of your ceiling in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do something like that. But before we get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week. I do two or three tutorials each week. Also, each week I'm doing some advanced courses and you can find those on my Patreon, first link in the description. Also there you can get access to this project file that I'm going to be creating in this tutorial as well as all of my other Revit project files. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see here I am in Autodesk Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project and before I do anything I'm just going to type in UN for units and let's, let's change them to centimeters. Okay, so with that done I'm just going to go here with a wall and let's do a simple room with nothing else inside and this is going to be something that we're be going to be working with. So usually for ceilings you would go, well, you would go with a ceiling tool, sorry, uh, with a ceiling tool and then you would probably do automatic ceiling, click once and then in 3D you can see here you have your ceiling. Also if you go to reflected ceiling plan here you would have that ceiling. Now the problem with this ceiling is if I were to go into 3D orbit on top there is not any of those construction elements that are holding this ceiling in place. Also if I were to go maybe into level 1 create a section running through this ceiling and if I were to open it up as you can see it's just a flat extrusion if I go here to fine yeah we have to layers but that's pretty much it and that's because this is a compound ceiling. Here if I were to go with a generic or something like this, even this one, it doesn't really contain any construction. If we go into 3D it's still a flat piece of plane. It just has this, uh, well basically some surface lines that are representing the uh, grid of our ceiling but still no construction. So to create ceiling with construction I choose not to use the ceiling tool, well for that I use the roof tool. Yeah, that might seem a bit counterintuitive but let's go here to first level, go with a roof command, roof by footprint and I'm just going to attach it to level 2 and before I do anything I'm just going to give it a minus 100 offset just so it's at like 3 meters high. And I'm going to go with a simple rectangle and let's complete a rectangle like this. Now for the slope I'm just going to select all of these lines and uncheck the fine slope so we're going to lose these triangles. There we go. And now for the type of the ceiling I'm going to choose the sloped glazing. Now this is not going to be sloped and it's certainly not going to be glazing but that's what we're going to be using to start off with just because it contains some functionality that's going to help us create something that looks like ceiling with construction. So just select that and then hit finish. And there we go, we're done. So now go here into edit type, you can see this is still uh, selected because here we have the modify tool for roofs, so that means that this is already selected. So you can go here into edit type and let's look into the settings. Now usually if you were creating just a regular curtain wall, all of these settings would be filled out, but before the, because this is uh, sloped glazing, it comes like this, like with no with no settings whatsoever. So you have to create some settings. So first, we're going to change the layout. So let's do that 600 by 600 grid, or that 60 by 60 centimeters. So I'm going to go here with uh, maybe fixed distance and let's go with 60 centimeters. Same thing over here, fixed distance, 60 centimeters. Now for our mullions, usually for these uh, uh, these uh, c uh, constructions of ceilings, you would have some sort of an interior type. We're not going to bother with the border type, you can if you want, I'm not. So I'm just going to go with a 30 millimeter square. Same thing over here, just go with a 30 millimeter square. Also this is probably glass for now but we don't want glass, we want a solid panel. So with that out of the way, let's just go here and for joint connection, yeah, let's, uh, let's just go like this, not defined. Hit apply, okay. 
Now it did some calculations and here if we go into reflected ceiling plan for level 1, as you can see here we have that ceiling plan. Now it might look a bit weird and let's go here into the section and let's see what we have. Okay, as you can see these are the panels and uh, here we have the grid. So uh, the construction is a bit weird. So if I go maybe into wireframe, you can see it a bit better. So these are the vertical mullions, these are the horizontal mullions, and then the panels are kind of in between the mullions. And that's not something I want to have. I want my panels to be above, or in this case, below the mullions. So the mullions will act as construction and the panels will act as, well, the ceiling. So you need to select this uh, panel, unpin it, go here into edit type, you have to unpin it in order to modify it. So just go here into edit type and here you can make some changes. So first the offset, I'm going to change it to something like, let's go with point 15. And here for thickness, let's go with 15 or point 15. And here for the offset, yeah, let's try point 30. Yeah, then hit apply. Okay, let's see what we have. So we have moved something, but let's see what. Okay, so this panel is way smaller, so let's go into edit type. So this might be in millimeters, so let's go here with three. Or let's try with three. Yeah, let's go with three and here 1.5. Let's see what that does. Okay, it looks a bit better. So here are panels and they're offset, but the, here, here we have a gap between the construction, between these mullions and our panels. So let's try to fix that again. So select the, and if you can select the panel, you just hover over it, hit the tab key once or twice, and then you can select it back to edit type. So let's change the offset to maybe two. Let's see what that does. Okay, I think the magic number is 2.25. Let's hit apply. There we go, that's perfect. And there you go, now we have it. So if I go here into 3D, as you can see on the bottom, we have a flat uh, flat plane uh, ceiling. And on top, you can see our construction. Maybe if I turn on shading, there you go. You can see the construction. Also, let's change the material of the panels. So I'm just going to go back to my section select this panel that's already unpinned, go here into edit type and let's change its material. So for the material, I'm just going to go here from default and let's search for some ceiling material. Okay, so we've got these tiles, but let's go with maybe some acoustic ceiling. I like this one, load it in, let's see the appearance. Yeah, it looks like a real ceiling. Hit apply, okay, there we go, apply again. Okay, and now this is a correct ceiling. One more thing that you can maybe change if you want, and that's the fact that, as you can see over here, our horizontal and vertical construction elements are basically in the same plane. And usually for ceilings, the horizontal lines would be maybe below and the vertical ones above, or vice versa, doesn't really matter. So how do we fix that? Well, we need to create a new mullion type. So just go here to the mullion uh, and you need to find it here in families. So you need to find here families in the project browser, open up the uh, or the, the menu, you need to expand the menu. Then let's find curtain wall mullions, expand that menu. And here we have rectangular mullions, open that up and here is that 30 millimeter square. Now you can right click, go into duplicate and let's call it 30 millimeter square number two, that's okay. And now I'm just going to double click and open up its type properties. And here for the offset, let's give it a, a 30 millimeter offset, or in this case, three centimeters because our units are set to centimeters. And then if I just hit enter, okay, there we go. And now I can select the whole uh, sloped glazing, go here into edit type, and then I can change the grid layout, maybe for grid number two, let's, or, or grid number one, let's change that to 30 millimeter square number two, hit apply. And there you go. So the horizontal ones are down below and the vertical ones are up above. And now here we have a correct ceiling construction. 
So there you go. That's how you create construction ceiling or ceiling with construction elements in Revit. So if you want to try this out on your own, I suggest you do that and I suggest you use this in following projects. Also, if you want to download this project file, again, as I said, uh, first link in the description to my Patreon page, there you can find this project file as well as all of my other project files, over 300 so far. And there I've got some advanced courses. At this point, I've got 17 or 16 and the 17th one is coming out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, quick tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.